Hi, my name is Joshua Karpovich, and this is uh, my introduction to the vinyl community on YouTube. And um, I'm really excited to actually do this. I, I've been watching um, a lot of people in the vinyl community for years upon years. I think I started off with, uh, he doesn't actually do it anymore either. His name was Dan in Canada. Um, it was a really big inspiration for me, you know watching him in these huge record collections and um, just picking out these awesome pieces that you know everybody wish they could have and uh, I got into Derek Vaughn too around the same time because they were both starting their videos around the same time and um, both of them just had so much knowledge in these vast huge collections you know I always wanted to uh, show off my collection you know I didn't quite have one as big as as, as theirs, but um, I guess at the time I, I just <laughs> I was very very busy and I didn't really know about getting onto YouTube and now I figure I mean the best way to get out there is just to do it so um, but I me personally I watch a lot of people with these um, collections and they, they they stick to one different thing you know and um, as for me I do I collect anything and everything, you know, I just love music in general. And uh, I guess that's why next I'm going to, I'm just going to go right into uh, my recent um, record digging scores just to show you a little bit about, you know, what I'm into and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, I had gone to a couple of, um, like thrift stores, and I love classical music. And I picked up um, a couple of records. This is Proke Fife's um, Concertos. This is a really great record. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I also got uh, Vladimir um, Horowitz's Homage to Litz. This is a really great one. I never actually heard of Vladimir Ho Horowitz before. And then picking up this record, it really blew my mind how great of a piano player he was. And then in so doing, you know, um, found out about Litz too, you know. I mean, he was pretty much the equivalent to Beatlemania back in the day. I mean, the, the dude was amazing. Um, I also picked up this. Um, I've got a couple of different vinyls of uh, Nocturne. This is Rubenstein's Nocturne um, by Chopin. And... Uh, this one was pretty good. I, I really like the box of it. You know, it, it, it opens up like a like a regular box and your your records actually just sitting there like that. I thought that was pretty cool. And it's got a couple of uh, records in it itself. Um, I've also got Mozart's um, Overture, The Marriage of Figaro. I have yet to listen to this one. This one's pretty cool though. I love Mozart. Um, so any anytime and a lot of times too with the classical releases, I try and buy it, um, as many different copies as I can because I, I feel as though um, a lot of the uh, conductors do a lot of different stuff. So it's always interesting to listen to different stuff. I've got uh, Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker Suite, which is another great record. Um, more more of a holiday favorite than anything so um, I got this I wish they had when I bought it I wish they had volume one but they've got Brahms um, the complete work volume two I was was a little mad I wanted volume one too but hey it's cool and it's also uh, Julius Katchen did the uh, actual playing for it so he's a he's a really great player. Um, I've also got this. I've never heard this one. I was actually going to put this one after I got done with this review. Um, this is Dvorak, um, New World Symphony. Um, I've seen this one a ton of times, and I never picked it up. But this time, I finally picked it up, and I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy it. Something different, you know. Um, let's see what else I got here. Oh, this one is good. 
I've got, um, it's kind of funny that I got this because a little bit down the way you're going to see something. Um, this is Stravinsky's Firebird Suite, which I love Stravinsky and I love the Firebird Suite like a lot. Um, it's one of the, my favorite pieces of music to listen to. You know, it's dark and moody and progressive at the same time, which really, really helped out for me, you know, keep my attention most of the time. Um, I've also got Beethoven's Piano Concertos number five, The Emperor, which, you know, can't go wrong with Beethoven. And it's the Israel Philharmonic, which I thought was really interesting. You know, I'm gonna definitely like that one. Um, and then this one is by, this one's another Beethoven, Variations for Piano. Um, which should be good too. I've never heard of the guy actually playing it. Uh, Sviatoslav Richter. Um, so that should be pretty cool too. I'm gonna put that on here in a little bit as well. I'm gonna move off. Uh, that's mostly all the classical that I did buy. Um, and then I bought all those for probably like 10 bucks. And what had happened was me and my wife, we went out for Valentine's Day and we went and we seen Deadpool, which is a great movie. And um, then we went to a place that's local here, it's called Park Avenue CDs. And it's in downtown Orlando. I'm from Florida, by the way. Um, and I ended up picking up this, Red Fangs, Murder the Mountains which I have Whales and Leeches, and I, the only one I don't have is the uh, self-titled album. And I want to get that before the, the new one comes out because I'm working on a new one. But I had listened to Murder the Mountains over and over and over again because I'm like infatuated with the song Hank is Dead and uh, Wires, you know. Because they're such great uh, songs and it's such a great album, you know. I, I really think they get lumped in with Mastodon a little too much. You know, and they're such a great band. So, and then from after picking up Red Fang, I started um, diving a little bit more into their uh, backlog area. And uh, first thing I came up with was a copy of Judas Priest, Sin After Sin. And I think they marked it down pretty well because the, the record wear, or the wear on the cover, um, but the actual record was perfect, so I, I had to jump on it. It's a Columbia, you know, it's not a CBS release, but I don't have a whole lot of Judas Priest in my collection. At one point I had a lot of Judas Priest, I had a lot of metal in my collection, and for some reason or another, as happens with all of us, and I wish we really would never do it, we sell it off to buy other things. But, hey, what can you do? Um, I also got a copy of Judas Priest's Rock and Rolla. Um, probably my least played of the Judas Priest albums, but I figured if I was going to start collecting them again, I might as well start from the beginning, um, which is great. This album is um, definitely showing you the beginning of Judas Priest, more deep purple than Judas Priesty. So, um, And as earlier, we were talking about Stravinsky's Firebirds, but I don't know whether I got to steal with this or not, but I really, I love classical music, but I really love, you know, this um, Moogish synthesizer kind of music. Um, so I really got into them. I'm a really big fan of Zombie and Tangerine Dream and stuff like that. So upon seeing this, I bought it. This is Tomita's uh, Firebird. And I actually picked it up not knowing that it was exactly Stravinsky's Firebird Suite reworked for your electronic pleasures. Um, but I was really, really impressed when I put it on when I got home. Because um, I just love that kind of music and I love it reworked. And I think Tamita really makes some great records, man. I mean, for being all the way back then, he was really ahead of his time. but. It's to be expected. You know, a lot of people get lost in the workings of music sometimes. And I also picked up um, Tomita's 
pictures from an exhibition, which was uh, another great record. Um, it kind of threw me off a little bit because I was like, um, this is around, let's see, 1975. That would probably be right around the same time Emerson, Lake, and Palmer did it. So uh, I actually was planning on putting this on and then putting on Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's pictures from an exhibition to kind of see uh, how it works up together. I th thought it would be pretty interesting. So that is my introduction to you guys. Yet again, I'm Josh from Florida. Um, and that was my first update to you guys. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, I hope to hear from you all soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.